Hey, Mark Suddeth here. It is 12.17 p.m. on August 29th, and I'm gonna show you the latest uh, GFS output here on Hurricane Dorian. Just coming off, uh, rendering off of the Tropical Tidbit site, so I'm gonna rotate the camera around, and we're gonna take a look at the iPad here. Check this out, this is 120 hour animation, and that is Dorian there at the 850 millibar level. 5,000 feet in the atmosphere, and you can see a uh, direct threat there just to the south of Cape Canaveral, Cocoa Beach area, north of Lake Okeechobee, um, and you know West Palm Beach, that area, with a very formidable hurricane indicated in the model field. This doesn't tell me the intensity per se, but it shows me a very well-developed solid intense hurricane just looking at the modeling here at 5,000 feet in the atmosphere the structure of it extremely round I mean come on that's exactly what you would expect to see with an intense hurricane this is five days out it slows down there right before landfall and um, that's concerning because it obviously prolongs everything uh, the iPad turned off that's fine it obviously prolongs everything and increases the flood threat, etc. So that's a look at the GFS out to five days. When the Euro renders and starts coming out a little after 2 p.m. Eastern, I will do the same for that. Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com. Just getting into Georgia. On our way back, there's Brent, by the way. Our awesome assistant from St. John. On our way back from Puerto Rico through Miami, now into Georgia, on our way to Wilmington, North Carolina, where we will pick up our equipment and be ready for what could be a devastating Hurricane Dorian impact in Florida. I'll have more for you in a couple of hours.